Hello and welcome to Mr. Saeed Ramadi's channel. I hope you have practiced the previous lessons. In this lesson, we intend to teach you the concept of proportion in the simplest and most practical way possible. For this purpose, we will use a geometric shape called a rectangle. If you have noticed lesson 3, one of the important steps in design was transforming the subject into simple geometric shapes. However, the reason for choosing a rectangle as a tool to recognize proportion is that practically any subject can be enclosed in a rectangular frame. Even the details of the subject can be represented with a rectangle. The relationship between the length and width of a rectangle represents proportion. For example, if the length of a rectangle is twice its width, we say the proportion is 2 to 1. However, proportion isn't always a whole number and may be a decimal. But don't worry, we're not here to engage our minds in mathematics and the left hemisphere of the brain. The only thing we need to keep in mind is the following expressions. 1, a half. 2, a little more. 3, a little less. For example, in this rectangle, the length is approximately one and a half times the width. But with closer inspection, we find the length is slightly more than one and a half. Look at this bag. If you pay close attention to the rectangle surrounding it, you'll notice the length is slightly more than its width. Hence, we say the length is slightly more than the width. But direct measurement isn't always possible and your subject might not be a printed picture. In the upcoming lessons, I'll teach you a method to measure the proportions of objects in your surrounding world using a pencil or thread. This means you can measure the proportions of all objects around you with the help of a pencil. A crucial point you've learned in this lesson requires a lot of practice. Try to review all previous lessons by looking at objects around you internet pictures, or printed ones. To do this, follow these steps. 1. Carefully observe the subject. Your subject can be an object around you, an internet picture, or a printed image. 2. Try to transform it into simple geometric shapes. This is lesson 3. 3. Identify negative areas for ease of work. This is lesson 4. 4. Try to identify the proportion of the rectangle frame around the subject just by looking and without using tools. Identify the relationship between the length and width of the rectangle. This is today's lesson. An important part of today's lesson was the keywords I mentioned. These keywords will be very useful in the upcoming lessons. So, once again, I repeat them. 1, a half. 2, a little more. 3, a little less. Now it's your turn. Practice the three previous lessons in the format I mentioned. Stay tuned by subscribing for the next lesson.